Ruck, the girl on a bike. Welcome back to my channel. And right now I'm pretty excited because I am at the Triumph Experience Center in Spain. And this video is gonna be telling you all about what this place is, but also an off-road review of the Triumph Tiger Rally Pro 900. <laughs> I'm a short distance from Malaga Airport. If you wanted to fly here and get yourself onto one of the Triumph off-road vehicles, or you can ride down here like I have. I've done about a thousand miles road trip down across Spain, and it's been actually a pretty awesome ride. So the way you can get to this place depends on what sort of adventure you want but it's effectively it's designed to be an off-road location where you can come, get on a Triumph off-road, get some tuition and learn, try the bike, decide if you want to buy it, maybe up your skills on your bike because you could come here on your own. And it's all about getting the Triumph off-road experience. So today I've come here on my bike. It's a borrow from Triumph UK, which I'm actually taking to Thousand Junas for a desert rally next week. Check out that video. I road trip down and done a full road review so do check out my other video if you want to know what I think of this bike in the road conditions but today I'm going to give you a little bit more of an insight of what the 900 Rally Pro is like once you turn off the tarmac and get it into the dirt so first of all let's have a look around the facilities they have here at the Experience Centre because by the looks of the outside I think it's going to be pretty impressive you can already uh, get some excitement of the tigers everywhere and the, and the bikes we're going to go on in Wow, it's a cool setup in here. So we've got a little bit of a showroom, coffee machine, obviously the essentials, nice sofa. It's all in the branded Triumph landscape. This looks good. Hey guys, how are we doing? Hey. Awesome. <laughs> Ready to go off road. Um, right, so you've got some bikes for us. Yes. Can we have a look? For sure, come on. Awesome. Sorry, no, I'll follow you. I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> Two wheels better. <laughs> I'd say I agree with that. <laughs> oh, cool. Wow. Yesterday we had a big event with the Nordics, so... <laughs> oh, it looks amazing. So you've got a fleet of bikes, you've got the Scramblers, you've got the Tigers. So Scrambler 1200s, right. Tiger 9, 12. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. All the options. Tiger with the the Scramblers. The small scrambler, the steep scrambler there, yep. and inside the, the big 1200s. Big 1200s, yeah. fantastic. Is this my That's your bike for this the is day. my steed for the day? Hello. Yeah. Are we going to call you Tiger as well? I'm pretty invent uh, creative with my names. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, center stands. I can trust center stands, right? I hate center stands. She's getting on. That feels good. Yeah. yeah. You feel comfortable? Yeah. This handlebar is a little bit. A little bit forward. Yeah. Okay. Would that be a recommendation for the setup on ours? Yeah, for me, this is the bike that I usually use. Okay. Uh, for me, this position is perfect. Going a does feel good. Position. Yeah, that does feel good. Levers feel good. Maybe go one shorter on the lever. That is a short... Oh, it's on four. I thought it was on four, two. No. Yeah, my little hand. <laughs> yeah, that feels good. So cool thing about the service they're offering here is they're 10 minutes from Malaga Airport and 99%, don't quote me on the stats, of the customers that come here aren't actually from Spain. It's all about giving people across Europe the opportunity to get on these bikes off-road in a controlled environment with a professional in an arena that's set up for all of that stuff. Can't wait to see it. But anyway, here behind me, you can see a massive array of kit. You've got jackets, trousers, jerseys, helmets, gloves. So a benefit there, you could jump on a plane, hand luggage only, come here and borrow all of the kit as well as the bike. So you don't actually need to have all of your kit. And experience level wise, it's gonna be set up for anyone from low down on the novice all the way up to the slightly better riders who want to really to refine their skills. So they've got it all here. The facilities continue in here. Ignore, ignore the sign, it's got a skirt. There is a, a ladies one, obviously. Um, they've got changing rooms and lockers. You can spray some mango perfume on you. Loads of kit space, etc. And for the likes of, say, Mav, who I'm here with today, who, you know, is gonna be a bit stinky by the end of the day. They've got some showers, toilet, if you need to drop the kids off, all sorted. Uh, and of course there's females, so let's show you the females as well. There we go, females are in here too. Showers, lockers, and we've got mango spray too. Should we spray it just for fun? 
Well, that's quite good. I need some of that. The rest of the team will appreciate that for the rest of the day. And there's a the toilet. Cool. See you later. All coffeeed up, all kitted up. I've met my beasts for the day. So the arena is a short ride from here and it's a dedicated private off-road training ground. So it's time to hit the road and get off-road. <laughs> roads to get here. It is a really windy day and it's overcast which actually I think is a good thing because otherwise we're going to be really sweaty in a hot day here because I think they're going to be working us a little bit but basically it's a big private playground. This is a, a nice big area to do some drills. You've got some bumps and balancey stuff and then down into the background down here there's a whole load of playground with some hill climbs, sands, grasses, rocks, all of that kind of stuff so this is going to be a cool place to get used to that tiger for hitting um, thousand dunas. Starting on the basic, let's get me confident on the bike. Pretend I know nothing because you can never practice the basics too much. And then gradually, as I'm feeling comfortable on the bike, we'll up our game, see how it's going. You've got 25 acres to play in. And if time allows, we could maybe do your little off-road trail towards the end of the day. But that sounds, sounds like a plan. Yeah. yeah, let's ride. Cool. Right, time to talk about the Rally Pro 900 from Triumph. Now, I've done a road trip video. Check that out if you want to know about the raw road focus side of it this now is focusing on off-road we're obviously in a 900 engine that's actually an 888 so 888 cc engine and we're popping out about 94 horsepower now the key thing when we're then taking this off-road is the fact that it has the rider modes set up into the electrics that is going to enable the bike to adapt shift and give you a more manageable control when you're hitting off-road stuff for example this bike the rally pro versus the rally it has an additional riding mode of the pro off-road setting which turns off all your ABS and traction control so you want to be uh, cautious when you do that because even the front turns off too now this bike comes with the engine guards and things like that as standard you can read all of the specs on the bike I'm going to focus on how it feels and why the rally pro is potentially going to be a really good bike for you if you're wanting to do the off-road and the road side of things the bike here has got some knobbly tires on it key the only thing that contacts the ground there's also additional things on the bike like the foot peg here lifts up and twists and enables you to have a different foot setting for whether you're standing or riding I'll pop that back into the mode for off-road the rally pro comes with a sump guard the engine frames we've got obviously the grip we've got one hand removable screen so this is in the lower setting when you're going from off-road to on-road popping that down gives you a bit more visibility for the train around you other little things that you can point out is right now there are no rear foot pegs on this bike this bike does of course come with pillion foot pegs because it has a pillion seat which is heated like the rider's seat but they are bolt on and off now the reason that's great is because you can remove them if you're not going to be having a pillion or if you're going to be going off road and you don't want the weight but also the fact that they come on and off means that actually it's not part of the frame should you have them on and they bend some adv bikes have had that issue in the past confidence is a big one for an off-road bike now the tiger 900 is quite a low seat height in relation to the competitors so it's 860 to 880 depending on the seat height setting so I'm gonna swing on now I am 169 centimeters tall with a 69 centimeter inside leg and you can see I'm easily touching the ground that's great for confidence off-road the actual riding position the bars on this bike have been tilted slightly forwards which gives you a little bit more of an aggressive stance to hold on and if I put the side stand down again and stand up 
it's a very comfortable position. Sometimes on the big ADV bikes, I find you don't really have anything to grip and often it slides you back to the grip point and then you're pulling on your arms. But I find that for me and my body, the pinch of those knees to squeeze and hold on to relieve the pressure on my smaller arm muscles feels really good. My elbows naturally kind of come into a good position. On the controls, it is a, a wired clutch, but it's actually an incredibly light clutch for a wire and that's going to help with the fatigue. It also has quick shift which is going to help if you're doing a lot of technical stuff, riding in town or anything or wanting to power up through the gears, avoid some of the fatigue and also make it a slightly smoother ride. If I grab the key out I can show you the how easy it is to change the seat setting. We've got the key in here that's going to pop the rear seat, move that out of the way and then the front seat you can see that there's two settings for the seat. Wiggle 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 in here and now for the thousand miles road trip I've done coming down here on the road I've had it in the higher seat position because having the optimal ground leg length isn't really such an issue on the road and it means that I've got a bit more space for my body now I'm going off road putting it in the lower seat setting is going to give me a little bit more confidence in the off-road terrain. Now there is also a little compartment under there so you can carry some tools and spares and the USB charging point under the back off-road the chances of you dropping your bike are a little bit higher hopefully you never drop your bike on the road obviously it can happen but when it does off-road having these big grab handles and also the engine bars and stuff gives you something to hold on to to be able to recover and pick it up which is great you've got some of the things like the indicators here they are on slightly cushioned arms hopefully less likely to break and actually if you look at the shape of the bike they're not sticking out excessively over the bike and they're just like little design points that make you think you know what this bike's droppable hopefully i won't find out today but i'm sure i will next week in in the desert we'll see we've got a massive tft display all of the sort of modes and stuff i go through in the road one the key thing there is that i'm going to see the uh, menu button to turn it into off-road mode final thing i want to probably talk about is the suspension uh, and we can see there's quite a bounce in this now when i first felt this before going on the road i thought blimey this thing's going to wallow it doesn't wallow at all on the road Road and off-road I'm pretty excited to see how this show of suspension handles you've got adjustment capabilities on it and hopefully it's going to suck up the bumps when you're thinking about an off-road motorbike a pretty key part is how much clearance you're going to have when you're starting to hit rocky terrain ruts etc and we have 229 millimeter clearance here below that sump guard so there's a pretty healthy ground clearance and you think about the the rivals for this bike now this bike is going to set you back about 13,600 depending on how much additional items you want to put on it try and have I think about 35 different aftermarket accessories that you can go on like panniers and all of that kind of stuff but that's what you're roughly looking at and while I'm crouched down here it's probably worth talking about what's going on in here a little bit more now this is a triple engine so we've got a t-plane crank going on with a uneven 132 to firing pattern. A triple is slightly unusual in the adventure bike market and Triumph have put in that firing to help reduce or lower the torque power and where it is and that's going to give you a lot more slow pull away power great for technical riding off-road great for in-town traffic etc it does mean when you get up to the higher revs it can feel a little bit more um, characterized a little bit rougher maybe at the top speeds that's probably a good term but from my experience sitting on the motorway where you really are sitting at the top speeds there's nothing in there that gives you any kind of fatigue or, or worries. It's just the character of the tiger. And I just say it, it, it's got its own purr and I quite like it. Right, probably enough chat about the bike. It's time to ride it off road. <laughs> okay. That feels like a nice line. The levers I can reach, two fingers. Yeah, yeah, that would be really good. Maybe we could do that when we get back. That would be really good. Yeah, we can do that. And then the bars. I like how these bars are. Cool. Amazing. Perfect. Okay. Don't be breaking. Just pay attention because we'll probably break too hard because it's so high now. Oh yeah, that breaks right there. Do yep. some small skips with the rear brake to get the, the right feeling. It's okay, like, yeah, that's a good idea. Off road mode, yeah?
brake practice is going really well. I can confirm that the Brembo brakes on this bike are superb. They've got big discs, you can see in front and back. I believe they're 320 mil discs and there's two massive ones up there. You know, on a big bike, there's 229 kilograms of mass to come to a stop being accelerated by 94 brake horsepower. And when you start to get on that rear brake, feeling it skidding, front brake, biting in on the suspension, feels really good. Good brakes, woohoo! Okay, what's next? <laughs> So at these experience centers, so this is the one in Spain, there is actually one in Wales, if you like wet and mud. They have different categories of training days you can do effectively. So level one, two and three, and it steps up the intensity. We're going to be fast tracking and jumping about through some of those exercises. And right now we're working on really tight cornering. It's a big bike, there's a lot of weight, you've got a lot of power, and we're talking about some techniques. I'm not gonna tell you the tricks because then why would you come and do the exercises yourself? But we're gonna have a demonstration, which is where it really comes to life. So super tight. Yeah, okay, really locked. So he's using the rotating mass. He's on full locked bars right now, going mad slowly, sat down. I'm gonna stand in the middle. Woo! <laughs> Wait, I'm going this way. <laughs> That's impressive. That's really impressive. Okay, right, come on. And I've got to be inside the cones, right? This is actually really hard. So much harder! So much harder going left! What's that all about? I guess on the right, yeah. On the right, you're kind of pushing on the brake, whereas on the left, you're like, your weight's pushing the wrong way almost. Yep. Okay, that one's, that's a practice area. <laughs> First the bumps and then some explanation about the bumps. Okay, cool. Yep, following. This place has a playground of stuff to test us, including <laughs> some deep gravel. That looked quite intense to me. Good to do this, you know, because the uh, last yeah. rocks you will skip over them and get momentum, which is not uh, what you want. Yeah, we have to stay at the right side. You see, that's a rather clean yeah. side. Just a little bit steering here, kiss the bush, this. Yes. kiss the kiss bush. The bush. Perfect. Perfect line. Super. It's a good marriage. That's what okay. 
Yeah. You're okay and the bike is okay. Yeah. Really? Good marriage, Tiger. Do you hear that? You got to propose to me. Go from there. You feel the feeling complete in. Yeah. And the more angle you give the bike, the more, the more easy it starts turning around. Okay, we're about to get the demonstration. Oh, wow. Wow. Look at that. Okay, now you need to do another one here and we'll have boobies. <laughs> yes! I'm gonna do a full one. I think that's good. I am puffing. We have been buzzing around the Adventure Centre all day and it's actually ridiculous how much confidence you can build on a bike in a short period of time when you work on the skills and the foundation to everything else. I've had the guys here watching me really closely, which is pretty intense. But in doing that, they're then able to give me tips, tweaks, shifting my body, my skills, what I'm doing with the clutch, the brakes, everything that's going on. And I've gone from coming in here going, come on, right, first time off road on the 900, you've got this, Vanessa, to actually, I'm feeling pretty at one with the bike now. It handles beautifully off road. It's ridiculous how it doesn't feel like a massive bike and it is a big bike i'm not going to try and pretend this is a, a little bike it's not it's 229 kilos and i'm only 62 kilos so it's a big bike but with with that kind of foundation i've got today i feel a lot more confident about the fact that i'm going off into the desert in a couple of days for the thousand dudas rally it's going to be a full-on one uh, obviously you can check out the adventure experience center in spain come down here yourself you could ride here from the UK, you could fly down to Malaga, all the other options, and no matter what your skill set, I'm pretty confident you're gonna learn something. It's about a 25 acre playground, but I think the key thing that you're gonna get is the experience on a bike that maybe you're thinking about buying, or maybe you own, but you're a little bit intimidated by, and you're getting that alongside some tuition. And so if you like sunshine, although it's not actually sunny today, it is warm though. <laughs> It's just a little bit more reliable than some of the climates around the world. Let's just say that. Anyway, that's me, the girl on a bike, over and out here. Let me know in the comments if you've got any questions about the place, whether you've been, whether there are any particular training centres that you've been to in the past that you've particularly enjoyed that other people might like. Hit that bell so you get notifications and you won't miss my future videos. And of course, check out my road test review on the 900. And the Thousand Dunas Rally Experience. And I'm hopefully gonna become the first female to make the finish line of Thousand Dunas on an adventure bike that's straight off the forecourt. Thanks so much for watching. <laughs>